welcome back to my channel so if you'd like to see how I got this look for New Year's Eve then let's jump straight into it so I've already primed my skin with my soap and glory hocus focus primer I've got my brows prepped and I am starting with my LA girl pro conceal concealer as a base for the eyeshadows on my eyes the reason I'm using is this concealer is because it's a really good dupe for the MAC pro long wear it doesn't crease and it also just kind of wipes out any discoloration and it really really helps the eyeshadows stick to something so then I've got my favorite eyeshadow palette which is my Maybelline the nudes palette and I'm taking this bone colored shade and I'm just taking this el uh, elong along the um, crease and above it because that is where I will be blending eyeshadows so it will make it a lot easier to blend over um, a base shadow so then I have got this light brown shadow from the same palette and I'm just taking this through the crease and a little bit above it this is kind of going to be the transitional eyeshadow so I'm just going back and forth and blending this until I am happy with it and then I'm taking the darker brown shadow and I'm just building up on top of that but this time I'm starting off on the outer corner and then working it into the crease so we're just creating a bit more depth here by um, going a little bit deeper with the shades You just want to keep building this up and blending until you are happy with the way it is looking. Sometimes when you blend, the colour can kind of disappear and fade, so just keep building it up, like I said, until you're happy with it. Then I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the same palette, and on an angled brush, I'm just kind of drawing um, like the line that is in my crease. So we're almost creating a bit of a crux cut crease but this is not a sharp cut crease look whatsoever by any means it's just kind of giving us a guideline and some shape um, so that when we apply some of the glitter later on we kind of know where we're going up to um, and where the depth uh, starts from if that makes any sense <laughs> and then I'm just going in with a clean tapered blending brush I'm getting right in there into my crease and I'm just blending that out um, like I said, this isn't a sharp cut crease whatsoever, so the more blended out this is, the better I think, and we kind of want this to be kind of more smoky, so you can build up with a bit more black eyeshadow and keep blending, 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 but really focusing the black eyeshadow mainly in the crease. Now for the fun part, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Awesome Metals eyeshadow and it comes with this like mixing medium little drop thing uh, and this pan and you have to get the consistency right and the best way to apply this is with your fingers. So as you can see, I'm just pressing this all over the lid and I'm not taking it any higher than the crease. Um, as you can see, we already defined the crease so we kind of had that as a guideline and then I'm just going to go back in there with my angled brush and the black eyeshadow just to redefine that um, that crease again and then go back in and blend you then just want to use that same black eyeshadow and build it up on the outer corners of the eye again the smokier the better and the darker the better so keep going until you're happy with it then you just want to clean up with a makeup wipe and make sure we've got a nice sharp edge because obviously it did look like a hot mess um, up until you clean it up and it still is going to until we have the rest of the face complete so just bear with me um, for liner I've got my Maybelline gel liner in the shade black and I'm just creating a really nice sharp wing um, and I'm using a fine liner brush to create this is my favorite brush to use when I am creating a winged liner and I like to do it in small sections and this brush just makes it super easy moving on to foundation I have my Revlon photo ready airbrush effect foundation and this is such a good dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I will leave all details of shades that I'm using down below in the description box so you can check those out. Um, I love this foundation because it's so creamy, it blends beautifully and it's got great coverage and I'm just blending this out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge just because I love to use this to create a flawless base. To conceal my under eye dark circles, I've got my LA Girl Pro Concealer and my Maybelline Age Rewind. So the LA Girl one is the one that we used earlier as an eyeshadow base, as a primer. Um, so I'm just using this again for under the eyes. As I mentioned, it doesn't crease. And um, I'm just blending this out once more with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. 
And just to highlight, I've got my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just taking this under the eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, on my chin and also just underneath where I would contour. So this is something that I would do for like a full glam look um, and if I'm going out. So this is perfect for a New Year's Eve makeup. So you just want to blend that out, again using the same sponge and this is just going to give you a beautiful flawless finish um, with great dimension in the face as well. To set that I've got my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Powder which has got a hint of a yellow tone to it. I'm just kind of dipping my Miracle Complexion sponge into this and then I am applying it quite heavily onto the highlighted areas as you can see. So this is like the method bait baking if you haven't heard what that is it is kind of like a drag queen method but it really does set your makeup in place as you can see I'm just dusting off all the excess powder but this way you know your makeup is going to last all night so again perfect for New Year's Eve and kind of like party makeup I'm then applying some mascara onto my eyes and this is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and for a uh, Falsies, I have my Eyelaw uh, number 140 lashes, which I have applied off camera. For my lower lash line, I'm just taking that dark brown eyeshadow and the black eyeshadow uh, that I use from my Maybelline palette, and I'm just blending that out on my lower lash line and smoking it out. Um, and then I'm just taking the light shimmery shade from the same palette, and this is just going to go on the inner corners of my eyes as like a little highlight. Um, and just to open up the eyes and brighten them up a little bit. For contour, I have my Maybelline Contour Kit in the shade uh, Medium Dark. And on an angled brush, I'm just taking this in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, and I'll also be contouring down the sides of my nose and just at the tip of it as well. Moving on to highlight, I have my 17 Instant Glow Shimmer Brick and this is just going to go on the highest point of the face so at the top of my cheekbones, uh, down the bridge of my nose and also I do like to take this along my forehead slightly as well. For blusher I decided to go for something that's quite subtle as I wanted the eyes to be the main focus. Um, so this is Bittersweet Blusher by NYX or NYX however you want to call it. Um, and then for the lips I've got uh, my Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner and my Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Nude Embrace. So I'm just lining my lips first and then going over with the lipstick and then just setting my makeup with my NYX Matte finish um, setting spray this is a must for New Year's Eve you want your makeup to last but this guys is the finished look I really really hope you enjoyed it I hope you all have a really lovely New Year's if you like this look please make sure you give it a big thumbs up comment down below with anything you'd love to see in 2016 don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching happy New Year